All links and common questions related to this video will be in the video description. You can help support these video tutorials by rating the video or commenting. It really really saves time if I save my settings. For example right now I have it set to compress with DivX and I have quite a few filters selected. But if I close Virtual Dub and open it again and I check my compression, now it's set to uncompressed and the filters I had set are gone. Uh, so it's really really beneficial if I can save these settings exactly how I want them. Let me set it to DivX and add a few filters. I'll just make them random just for example purposes. Okay, I have two filters and I have DivX selected and compression. I can also select audio if I want to. And then I go to save processing settings and uh, make sure you select your plugins folder in virtual dub. Go to plugins and I'm going to save it as foo or something. Doesn't matter. Save, foo, enter. And now I have my settings saved. Now when I go close virtual dub and open it again, it may not open it automatically. See it's uncompressed right now, but if I go to load settings and then I go to my plugins directory in virtual dub and load foo.vcf that I just saved, uh, you can see it remembered all the plugins I set and the compressions I set for the video and audio codecs. You can make it automatically load uh, some kind of settings by just making a shortcut. Virtual Dub has a few cool command line options. Uh, just right click Virtual Dub, create shortcut, I'm going to drag it onto my desktop, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to add a command line option. I'm going to say slash s for settings and then the location of the settings. It's in the directory of plugins and the name is foo.vcf and I click apply. Now when I open it again and I go to video filters I can see that it remembered my settings. Now every time I go to virtual dub it's going to be uh, exactly how I want it and it's over again. And I don't have to reset the compression options all over again. Anyways, thanks for listening. You can see a full list of my videos by going to youtube.jimmyr.com. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for listening. <laughs>